Welcome back to Healers at Art with Sean. That's me. I just am so excited that you're here. I love each and every one of you. Um, I'd like to know who all is watching me. Like I don't know unless you leave a comment. So leave a comment. If you liked it, like it. If you didn't like it, you know what? Go ahead and thumbs down it. Uh, like, you know, I don't like thumbs downs, but you know. To do something. Let me know what you thought. I'd prefer a comment. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that if you already have. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Um, tonight's painting is done on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm going to be using my blow dryer, but it's not a typical Dutch pour. So, so the colors that I'm using today are all um, leftover paints, drips, things that I've collected. So they're kind of all a mismatch of colors. So um, this one is kind of a really pretty blue. Right. Uh, and then I have this very delightful shadings, kind of a pinkish color. It's peachy pink. I'm not sure what you would call that. And then this is kind of a lavender gray. And then I have this um, shimmering black. bit of a, of a lavender color. Now, um, I've also pulled out my light pink by Liquitex uh, Basics, just kind of to give continuity and flow throughout. I'm not 100% sure how I'm putting things down on. I don't know if I'm gonna pull out a blow dryer at any point. I'm thinking about it. So this is definitively a work in progress as we go. I kind of have a little bit of idea of how this is gonna work, but not really. So let's, let's do this. I think I'm gonna actually start with the black kind of across the center. So we're going to do this this way. So I am just going to come across my painting just like this. That's right. There we go. Um, it's okay. It's the joy of fluid art. It'll all come together. I need to get off the edge right here. There we go. All right. light pink right along the edge, just almost like a separator for the colors. Because they do, although I think they'll all go well together, I want to have a little bit of definity. Definition, I guess is the right word. In this, whoops, composition. It's like six o'clock in the morning here <laughs> while I'm doing this. So my girls are off um, from their, their seminary class. Everybody else in the house is still asleep. Okay, so that's that one. Um, let's go with the blue next to that.
now because I have a lot of the blue. Ooh. See, I'm gonna go ahead and do that on this side as well. on this, so I'm probably going to have to blow some of it off. Um, use the blow dryer to help with composition and things. Okay, so we're going to go back to the light pink. Thing I scrape up all my drips, right guys? So that stuff coming off the edge, that's exactly where this stuff came from. All the paints that I lose. All right. Um, I'm actually not gonna go with the light pink, I don't think, because this is such a pink color. Lavender. I'm trying to decide if I need to put the la this light pink before the lavender. I kind of feel like I do. So we're gonna do that. Even though those are similar in color, I think the light pink is gonna look a little bit better next to the lavender. Just personal opinion. You guys, please share your comments. Let me know what you think down below. I say this morning, I have no clue what time of day, or even what day you're gonna watch this. I really do thank you all for joining me on this journey of artistic discovery. And I'm really glad you're here. Please 
please leave a comment down below. Let me know who is here. I will respond to each and every comment. Put the blue on. I okay, still have more blue. So that is all of that. So then what I am going to do is add some white to the corners over here. This is just my regular Dutch pour white. And then I use this as my base up. Um, and all of these drips that you see, those are all from things I've done with my Dutch pour recipe, which you will find in the description, which all you have to do is touch those, the title and the description will pop up for you. Okay. All right, let's pop some bubbles. Step one. that I actually want to do a swipe with this. Okay, so I changed my mind. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some bright gold in various spaces, and then I'm going to get my blow dryer out and blow it. So let's see how that works. Let's see. I'll take a strip down this black path. It's gray. Looks like it could use a little Happiness. It's kind of wider. And add some here at the edge. Okay. I think that looks good. it and I scrape it and I use all the paint for the background of something else and paint over the top of it, right? Sorry, my blow dryer cord is all tangled up. Okay, there we go. Alright. I missed a couple bubbles only because I had the bowl over here. Uh oh, I might 
blow dryer is not working, guys. All right, um, let me touch up my edges a little bit and then we're gonna scrape the drips. Remember that that's a very important thing. That makes sure that your composition doesn't pull off during the drying process. It's much easier to do sometimes if I have a little stick, hold on pull some of that up from there, that corner. Get off. Just make sure that that corner gets gotten. Right, I have some things down here that need a little attention. So you guys need to understand, I guess, what it means to touch up the sides. spots on the edges that didn't quite get paint blown onto them because I didn't do an official flood coat first because I was putting so much paint on the canvas anyway, which is why I didn't do that. Lean over, get in the way of the camera. Sorry about that, guys. All right. the gold and the effects that the gold has on everything. Thanks for joining me on the journey. Until next time.